Hey, welcome to Kinnissing TV. Today we're going to talk about the case of Andrew Gosden. Andrew Paul Gosden was born on the 10th of July 1993 and disappeared from central London on the 14th of September 2007 at the age of 14. Um, he left his home, which was in Doncaster, South Yorkshire. He withdrew 200 pounds from his bank account and bought a one-way ticket to London from Doncaster Station. He was last seen on CCTV leaving King's Cross Station. I believe that's the biggest and busiest um, station in London. Uh, in 2021, there was an arrest made on suspicion of kidnapping and human trafficking in the case. Both men have been released under investigation while inquiries continue. In 2023, this year in January, police confirmed that the investigation is still ongoing. Um, Uh, the parents were very Christian but had not baptized their children. They didn't want to force their beliefs on their children. Um, I'm not even going to go there. Um, when they sat down for dinner, they um, wondered well, where is Andrew? And they thought that possibly he was in their um, cell or playing video games or in his room doing homework. When they discovered he was not in the house, maybe he's with a friend or a neighbor and lost track of time. He is 14. Um, they called his friends and by 7 p.m. the police were called. His father, um, Kevin, scouted Gosden's route to school and areas nearby but found nothing. It's weird um, that and the woman at the ticket counter remembered him because he refused a return ticket even though it didn't cost very much more. So it was really strange to her. Um, now he had a, a PSP. Um, And Sony was able to say through the serial number that there was no record of, of a PlayStation account being set up. Um, or communication established on the device. The Sony PSP, which is PlayStation Portable 1000, had a DNAS authentication system allowing Sony to see when a PSP had connected to the internet. The only PC in the house was his sister's laptop. And she stated he was not interested in social media. He just wasn't all that social. Um, uh, a year after Godston's disappearance, I love this, Godston's disappearance, the head teacher at Macaulay Catholic High School Mary Lawrence traveled to London with staff and pupils and distributed 15,000 leaflets or flyers. Um, his parents thought maybe he went to London to take in the sights because he had enjoyed um, them when he visited the capital with his family.
Um, one event identified by Kevin Gosden as a possible reason for his son to have traveled to London was that in 2007 there was some kind of YouTube gathering. But there's no evidence he attended or had an interest in YouTube. And they looked to see if there were any concerts or anything he could have um, gone there for. Now it seemed plausible that um, he may have gone to a concert of a group called Sick Th S I K capital T H um, because it was the last show with their original um, lead vocalist. Um, he appealed to anyone with photos or videos taken at the gig to come forward so that super recognizers could scan the images. I don't know what the hell that means, but I don't know what a super recognizer is, but um, that's what the police officer said. Um, he's reti a retired head of the Metropolitan Police Central Images Unit, Mick Neville. Uh, there's a canal nearby, Regent's Canal. It's unclear whether this was ever dredged or checked. Um, he was a fan of metal. There's no evidence that he attended these shows or that he even liked these particular bands that were playing there. Um, and if you were at those shows, um, let me get the other na the name of the other group. And I'm sorry if I'm butchering that other name, but I have not a clue how to say it. Um, the other one would be Brixton Academy. Oh, no. 30 Seconds to Mars. I've heard of them. Um, but why wouldn't he have gotten a return ticket if that was the case? Uh, the Gosden family hypothesized that he may have gone to London to attend a show by a band that he was known to be a fan of. Finnish band HIM. Capital H, capital I, capital M did a promotional signing at the HMV store on Oxford Street on Monday 17 September 2007 and pre performed an invitation only show the same evening at the Borderline venue in Soho, London. This um, lead was investigated by the family with the help of the group, but it did not produce any meaningful leads. You had to win a contest to get a ticket to this event. So the group, yes, they went through all their records and stuff. Uh, his father in 2009 asked, the, posited the question, did he decide to do the Reginald Perrin thing and reinvent himself? Or was there something troubling him that he felt he couldn't tell us? In my heart, I still think his disappearance was a spur of the moment thing. I agree. Police decided to investigate the family rather than getting CCTV footage beyond King's Crossing. Why are you investigating the family when he was seen coming out of King's Cross? Huh. In November of 2008, a man visited Lemonster Police Station in the Herefordshire West Midlands or Midlands and used the intercom system to talk to a police officer stating that he had information about Gosden. As it was in the evening, the intercom system was in use rather than a staff reception. By the time an officer arrived to take the details, the man had left. Um, a man claiming to be the man did write an anonymous letter after their appeals. Uh, to the BBC after it featured the case on The One Show. He gave details of a possible sighting of Andrew in Shrewsbury 
Again, we're talking about England, we're not talking about Massachusetts, in November of 08. It has not been confirmed that it was the same man on both occasions, and if so, why he did not wait at the police station. In 2009, an age progression was released. His father also posited, we are a pretty open family, so have wondered if he was gay or struggling with his sexual identity and found it too awkward to raise. If he is gay, we do not have any issue with it. He is loved unconditionally by both my wife and I and his sister. What a wonderful family. In 2011, um, the River Thames was uh, searched with sonar in May 2011, paid for by the family. In 2016, his parents appealed for information on the BBC, uh, I guess it's their flagship current affairs television program, Panorama, which uh, following year marked 10 years. In 2017, on the 12th of September, the police made a fresh appeal for information. Um, a statement on the South Yorkshire Police Facebook page said the following. Uh, the police were had been investigating requests for similar optical prescriptions to Gosden's, requesting documents from the passport office or national insurance, and circulating Gosden's DNA, fingerprints, and dental and health records. The tone of the statement suggested that the police believe Gosden may still be alive. Um, in 2018, the family said that someone had reported an online conversation with a person with the username Andy Brew, who claimed that their boyfriend had left them and they, and they needed 200 pounds to cover rent. When someone offered to send the money, the user claimed they did not have a bank account as they had left home when they were 14. This link was investigated by police, but the person was not identified. In 2018, to mark his 25th birthday, two updated age progression photographs were released by the family. It was also announced that the band News would help publicize the campaign to find Boston. In October 2019, another age progression was made and released. His family has kept his room exactly as he left it, have not changed the locks on the house, as Gosden was known to have taken his key with him. His bank account has not been used since that day. Um, and again, the two men were that were arrested were um, uh, in possession of child pornography at the time of their arrests. Um, the day he disappeared, the temperature was 19 degrees Celsius or 66 degrees Fahrenheit, peaking at 21 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit by 4 p.m., which is pretty warm weather in the UK. I do not have a phone number because this is a United Kingdom case. But go to the Yorkshire Facebook page. Um, excuse Goodness gracious! Um, thank you for being here. God bless you. Um, please click sub subscribe if you haven't already. If I can even get the word out of my mouth, um, and click the bell. You can customize your notifications. Um, again, you can go to the police Facebook page. You can find a number for the police, hopefully. Uh, as a matter of fact, what I'll do is I will link um, Georgia Marie's video on this case, because I do believe she has a phone number in her video, if I'm not mistaken. Um,
So I will do that and we'll get a, a number there. Um, Mm. Um, but I found the twists and turns in this case very interesting, and I hope you did too. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.